Hi, I'm Rhett. I'm Ellie. This is Ellie. So I'm a physics blogger at uh, Wired Science Blogs, and I'm going to do a simple experiment with this tennis ball and an upside down chair from my book on the physics of Angry Birds. What do you think? You have no idea what we're going to do, do you? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I made this little slingshot. This is just a, a exercise rubber band, and this is an upside down uh, lawn chair. And you could use anything, really. And so what I'm going to do is just take this and shoot it like you do in Angry Birds. And uh, I have marked some distances down here. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to find out how far it goes. And I'm going to time how long it takes. Okay? And then from that, we can determine how fast it shoots. Even though it's moving up and down at the same time, this will still work. What do you think? There's a train. Should we redo that? Or... Okay, she says don't worry about it, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay, so you can be the... On your mark, get set, go! 1.2. 1.2 seconds. And it went right here. So I have this, this is like uh, 0.3 meters. One, two, three, four, five point three meters. So how? 5.3 divided by 1.2, I get what? 4.46. 4.4 meters per second. So that's how fast this is going. Um, you can make it go longer if I started from a higher distance and it would have longer to travel horizontal. But that's how you can do that. So this is an experiment you could try on your own. There's more experiments like this. What's the name of my book? I have no clue. You have no idea. Angry Birds Wired? Angry, <laughs> Angry Birds Furious Forces. Okay. Uh, it's a National Geographic's book. Uh, you, can, you can check it out. And thanks for watching. What do you, do you want to say bye? Peace. Okay, peace.